Hey folks, this is Snowman Jones. And I'm Amy. You can call me Adam. But um, <laughs> how would I like the name Snowman Jones? I like it. Today we're going to be asking how crazy is the Iron Sheik? This is an interview. It's an excerpt from a shoot interview with him, and we're just going to see how crazy he comes across. I'm so excited. We're going to stop it, and you're going to give it... You've never really seen the Iron Sheik before. Not a ton. I know that he came up with um, the jabroni term. Jabroni. Right? Yeah, yeah, jabroni. Yeah, yeah, so I like he that. He popularized, or rock popularized it, but yeah, he probably started yeah. it. Fast forward one year to 1987, WrestleMania three, the Pontiac Silver Dome, Pontiac, Michigan, over 93,000 fans. You teamed up with Nikolai Volkov to Great. take on the Killer Bees, and that's where your feud began with Hacksaw Jim Duggan when he interfered at the end of that match. What was it like? He's just like massive crowd. He asked me excellent, excellent question. The great feeling all the time I had all my life, Mr. Dan Maloney, it was that night, Pontiac, Michigan, Silver Dome. Michigan. Yes. yes. Michigan. And all the things that was you just great, said. I had a great feeling to wrestling next to 93,000 people. No any musician, no any football player, no any, no any uh, sport event in your country sold out, man, right. regardless, I mean, uh, for the yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. It was a great feeling, Dan Maloney, try wrestling with uh, uh, Jim Brazzelli and Dr. Ronnie Brian Blair. Right. Brian Blair, right. Brian Blair, Brian Blair. you are another faggot son of a bitch. No no life. That escalated quickly. Yeah, and it was like his accent all of a sudden went away. Like oh. everything has been hard to understand and he's like I know those <laughs> words. I don't know how to say those <laughs> words. I want to let you know you are punk. You are fat. You are punk little You're gay. Fat. <laughs> More than Michael Jordan. Michael uh, Jackson. More than Michael Jackson. Maybe Michael Jordan. <laughs> His partner, Jim Brazzetta, from He's Minnesota. He's got crazy eyes now. They, they, just, right they, they just went crazy. crazy. But that little punk, Bram Blair, another little fat, worse than Michael Jackson. Ooh, worse than Michael Jackson. I didn't like him, I didn't like his attitude. He was a punk. I can't break his fucking back. Break his back, make him humble, and mm. don't fuck his ass. I Whoa. didn't do it in the punk job, which is on. Because I respect my sport and I respect Mr. McBlair. You're a professional. I'm a professional. He's a professional. I said, boss, 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 ready to do a thing no, 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 no. for country man, make him humble. Suplex him. I like, like uh, he always says, I'm going to break his back, his ass, and make him humble. Yeah. That's powerful. I mean, I'm going to make you, and the thing was, I would like some kind of, uh, you guys can look up the stats in the Wikipedia and give me all the details below, but. O Olympic level wrestler, like yeah. badass. Iran was known for real wrestling. This guy got juiced up after and was unstoppable, like in terms of a human being, a collegiate level, Olympic level, badass wrestler who decided to put on 300, you know, be 300 pounds. No, I'm very scared I would, of I would him. not want to no. mess with him. Nobody, no. like the wrestlers were like, no, I don't want to mess with the sheep. And He's this crazy. Looks like he really is, like, this is not like, I'm. Um, Putting this no. on for the TV, yeah. it sounds like he really hates this guy. Yep. That's scary. Put him in a camel clock, break his back, and then fuck his ass, make him humble, to hear the spot out of it. And I didn't do it I'm afraid. because for God and Jesus, I must have been mad. Brambler, you are no good. You are busted, Michael Jackson. I never respect you again. Why does he hate Michael Jackson? Why did you ask my question? <laughs> I was like, so why does he hate Michael Jackson? <laughs> Reading my script. <laughs> I don't like that he has like he he was like the only reason I didn't do it is because respect for Jesus and Vince McMahon. So that's that's nice, right? I guess. The higher powers. Yes. <laughs> and then he was lucky to the uh, big man American two by four answer. You was lucky, punk. I didn't break your back to fuck your ass. Make you humble. That's his go to. Uh, that is his go to. Is camel clutch break back. Mm. Make you humble. If you knew the camel clutch, it would make sense. I would be humble. He was lucky. I had to keep him and come save me, uh, and I didn't break his back. You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm a shooter, man. Mm. You're a punk. I just fucked your partner. 
Do you know what a shooter is? He says, I'm a shooter, man. Like, somebody that shoots things? Or what does no, that mean? it means that, like, you're a legitimate, like, in a, what they would call a shoot fight, like a real fight. It's, I'm a real wrestler. I'm a shooter. Oh, like, he's, shooter. oh, yeah. yeah. Like, he's not just, like, doing them, like, he Yeah, really I'm not, yeah, I'm a shooter, yeah. And some wrestlers have used that that term as their nickname. Like, I'm the shooter, which is weird to say that because then it implies that everything else around you is fake. Yeah. Which it is, but I mean, not fake. Kimber said, I never respect the gay. I never respect the fact. You are worse than Hulk Hogan. And you're lucky I didn't bring you back. And I have to come save you. And that was a great feeling to wrestling like 93,000 people. And you were so lucky to the hacks so come save you before I break your back and I do all country way uh, to make you uh, uh, humble. Uh, besides that, everything was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! Yeah, besides that, it was a pretty good night. Yeah, it was yeah, nice. It was, yeah, it was, it was like, awesome. It was a great honor. That. I love Pontiac, Michigan. Oh, great people. Great, great people. I had a great time. <laughs> everything was awesome except that uh, break his neck. It was yeah. nice. What was that? I don't know. Wait, okay. I love so it. So I'm seeing he has some teeth. Is that is that drugs or is that wrestling, like hey. fighting, or is it both? Or uh, let's ask them. What yeah. causes your teeth to fall out? I mean, he's sixty, probably. I don't know. There. That was amazing. Crazy. That's amazing. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys let me know too if any of you watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia because I think they do a lot of plays on kind of the Iron Sheik and they? they say jabroni and those little, say jabroni. Yeah, the whole thing. So. I like when Frank wore his Andre the Giant singlet. Yeah, well in that same episode they have Ricky Cricket kind of play their version of uh, kind of, of the, the terrorist guy? sheik oh. guy. Kind of, yeah. That's amazing. Alright, we're going to have to watch Hulk Hogan won his first championship from the Iron Sheik. We should watch that sometime. Oh. Well, oh, so that's why he hates Hulk Hogan like Michael Jackson. I don't know if that's why he hates Hulk Hogan. We should, we're going to look up, yeah. leave us some links below of other Iron Sheik shoot interviews that we can dissect and discuss with you and leave us, like, Does comments. the Iron Sheik have a Twitter? Because I like Oh my god, read, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, what is the Iron Sheik's Twitter? <laughs> Amazing. Which reminds me, let's look at Virgil's Twitter sometime Ooh. because... Breadstick money. Oh, God. We had, we went, where did we go the other day that had great breadsticks? Fazoli's. Fazoli's. Unlimited, I don't have, but we I don't have Virgil's breadstick money, oh. but I have Fazoli's breadstick money. So I want to go to, I want to go to Fazoli's now. Can we go to Plant City and go to Fazoli's? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> We're going to let you go because we got to go get some breadsticks. Laters. <laughs> So for the past week I haven't been able to sleep well and I was waking up groggy for work in the morning and so then a buddy of mine decided to tell me about breast more here and so I decided to try it one night so I grabbed me a glass of water and took two, fell asleep within 30 minutes and then I woke up so energized for work in the morning and I'm definitely going to try it again and yeah. <laughs> Restmore is an essential addition to your medicine cabinet for those times you need to fall asleep but can't. Remember, when you just need more rest, get Restmore. Now available on Amazon. Good night.